Hello, Tony here again. I thought I'd do a short video uh, this week um, on a question that I seem to be keep getting asked more and more lately, and that is how to deal with the uh, X-Plane pop-outs and use the uh, built-in uh, GNS and G1000 displays uh, within an, an Air Manager panel. So I'm going to show you very quickly in a short video um, just how to do that. Um, there are some more uh, complex setups that you can do with this setup. I'm just going to show you the very basics in terms of how to get the uh, the pop out configured. So the first thing uh, you need to um, know is that um, X Plane and Air Manager need to be running on the same machine. So if for some reason, for performance reasons, and a lot of users uh, uh, do that, need to run their panels on a separate um, machine to their visuals. Um, you need to be running Air Manager with X-Plane. So that means you can run two instances of X-Plane. Um, it will mean that you will need two copies of X-Plane. Um, and you run your outside visuals on your more powerful machine and you run your panels on your less powerful machine, assuming you have two machines, uh, one better than the other. Um, now, you need to make the um, the less powerful panels machine, the master machine, uh, when you set up your X-Plane. I'm not going to go into the details of doing that. Uh, I'm just going to show you a setup where Air Manager and X-Plane are on the same machine, but essentially it's the same. You're not going to be able to get this to work because the pop-up uh, relies uh, on X-Plane being on obviously the same machine because you can pop it out, but it can only, you can only then drag it to any monitor on that machine but you can't obviously drag it onto a networked machine. You need another copy of X-Plane on another machine if you're running your panels remotely. So um, as you can see here, what I've got is um, a um, the simulator running. Let's just make sure I've got my, um, my uh, uh, mouse. Uh, I think I've actually got my, uh, my mouse turned on. Um, yeah, I should have. Um, oh yeah, there we go good um, not this that important but uh, so, so here anyway the, here we are with the panel uh, so what we're going to basically do to get your pop out to go and this applies uh, what I'm showing you here applies to the G1000 and to the GNS um, radios the GPS uh, style radios same technique applies uh, just a bigger display on the G1000 so I'm going to show you the G1000 one you click on the display and you'll get a pop out I think most people will be familiar with uh, the pop out and then you can drag it around I can, you can see, drag it off uh, to uh, another monitor if I want to, um, or we well, can see at the moment I can't because it's it's bound by, uh, you know, as far as I can drag it within uh, this monitor. But the way you get it to uh, undock, you can see it hasn't got a white bar. You see, like the normal uh, menu here at the moment, is you just go to the top right hand corner and you can just see those the little um, icon just appear in that top right hand corner there you just click on that and then you get an undocked window now when I drag that I can drag that right off of the monitor it's not being sort of uh, stopped in any way I can drag it uh, I've got um, quite a few monitors here so I'm drag it to uh, any one of those and uh, I've got an undocked window so wherever you want to run your panel you drag it to that uh, instrument so what I'm going to do for the moment I'll just drag the the panel out of the way there and I'll drag the sim up out of the way onto another monitor um, and I'll drag uh, the instrument back here so this is our instrument we can uh, go to the corner and we can resize it as well if we want to you can it's important to see that you can get it uh, out of aspect ratio there so um, when you need to resize you need to do that correctly but if you design your panel um, or you're using uh, one of the uh, ready-made panels that's got a cutout then that cutout should be the right aspect ratio and all you need to do is size this instrument to that cutout and you'll be uh, you'll be good to go so let's just leave that instrument uh, any old way for the moment uh, roughly there that's a bit smaller than we need but let's just leave it there and when we'll start um, an air manager panel so um, I've got the I'm sitting in the robin here as you probably saw uh, when we had the sim on there so I've got a little robin panel that I've designed and you can see now what this is essentially is there's all my instruments on the robin panel with the G1000 uh, bezel uh, for controlling the functions in explain and you can see it's got a transparent window which is looking through onto my desktop that um, you see there's the G1000 there's my panel 
and it's just showing through so all we essentially need to do is drag this now what you'll need to do um, in the uh, air manager um, settings let me just um, let me just show you that very quickly I'm just going to bring the air manager window over now but all, uh, all these things sitting on different monitors here at the moment so we're going to just scroll down to the settings and you can see now I haven't got locked ticked or always on top ticked I've got all those unticked at the moment click throughs okay um, because otherwise what's going to happen if I tick those it's going to lock the panel and it's not going to enable me to drag the other one around so if you can't do it it's probably because you've got one of those uh, ticked which you can tick afterwards once you've got it all set up you can tick them and lock them all in place uh, but for the moment you want to leave those unticked so let's get the air manager window back out of the way um, let's bring our panel up right so there's our panel and there's our G1000 so all we simply need to do is just drag the, the, the corner of the G1000 to the same size as where the bezel is there this is the way I tend to do it uh, now you can you can get rid of this uh, um, bar um, and with the uh, radio certainly I don't think I've tried it with the, uh, the G1000 but I assume you can do the same with the G1000 is you can actually lose the the bezel and just get the display part and sit that in the window behind some people prefer to do that but it's really not really necessary if you size this correctly because you don't get you don't see the display and you don't see this white bar because it's being hidden behind uh, the panel so what you do now is you just drag the corner there so you can size it in width and height and then now you've got that top left already aligned you just need to align this now to the bottom corner of your display and you can see maybe just a little twinge back that way a little bit there we go so that looks about right as if it's on the panel but obviously we've got this ugly bar now but that's because it's sitting on top so now if we just click on the panel somewhere you can see now um, we've got our panel back and that uh, just the screen part of it all the rest of it the bezel and the white bar are hidden behind the panel now if I go ahead and uh, touch the middle of the screen again you'll see it comes back to focus on top now if we go back to um, if I go back to um, if I go back to the air manager window and then scroll down um, to the locked always on top well, the trouble is now what I've done is I should have I was trying to show you I'll leave it off the I'll leave it off the screen but what I'll do is I'll show you so I've got locked and always on top now now when I click I'm clicking now in this middle uh, section here on the G1000 and it's not coming to the top simply because I've got always on top tick now on the panel so you can you're okay if you had this on a touch screen which I have or you're using a mouse or whatever um, don't worry about inadvertently touching the screen and it popping to the front and having to keep clicking on the panel to get it to go back again once you've got it in the right place you just tick that setting and it locks it in place uh, and then you're free to uh, power it up and you can have another look at it again and see that you're happy that it frames up nicely on the instrument and if necessary you can make some small adjustments you'll have to remember to unlock it if you've locked it um, to make those adjustments just by clicking on it and bringing the focus to it and then dragging it around and then basically once you're happy you click on the panel send it to the back put click on top and those other bits back on the panel and you've got yourself uh, a G1000 panel uh, that looks like it's a, a fully built-in air manager instrument and you have obviously um, I've got a knobster enable here but um, you can you can have full control of the uh, the instrument using the, uh, the G1000 um, bezel so that's uh, really um, all there is to it um, the important thing mean you need to have it on the on the uh, on the same machine as Air Manager, um, and it should uh, should work fine. Now, just very quickly, um, we can probably pull up. I'm um, just having a look in my panels here. What have we got? Um, yeah, we probably maybe got another one that I could possibly show you. Yeah. So here's one um, 
bit messy, but uh, one that I'm working on in, uh, at the moment in development. Um, and that is, you see, another panel, again with the transparency uh, windows with the 530 and the 430. And again, it will show your desktop through there. You click on the 530, the 430, you position them into this location and you do exactly the same as you would for a G1000. And then, um, yeah, you're good to go. You've got radios in the uh, in the radio stack there, um, all ready to go. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, that will help a lot of people um, to the basics of how you set up a pop-up with an Air Manager uh, panel with a transparency. Thanks for watching. Bye.